Dave White with Quad City Safety here to talk about a Samurai glove from Global. It's part number is 802. And we kind of talk a lot about if you have to take your glove off to do your job, you've got the wrong glove on. And a lot of times it's picking out what we need or the protection factors that we need and then integrating it into a glove. And the glove that we're looking at today does two things. It looks at the fact that we need cut resistance, but we may also need that relative heat resistance. So when we talk about cut resistance, this guy right here is an A3, so it's a, it's a decent level of cut protection. And we couple that with the fact that it has a thermal protection, so if I'm picking up stuff that is hot, this glove is rated so that I can pick up stuff that's 500 degrees Fahrenheit and hold that for 15 seconds based on the EN407 test. The EN407 test basically takes a thermocoupler and measures as I hold that, that object that's 500 degrees how much the inside of the glove heats up. We've all kind of all taken a, you know, a pair of gloves or whatever and gone up to the campfire and kind of held it there and then all of a sudden we feel that heat coming through. So that's what that test does is to make sure that we don't end up burning our hands, but that's a 15 second test. It has an, also a nice uh, palm coating. So it's a foam nitrile, an extreme foam nitrile. So it has grips, but it also has the dots for tractions. And again, these coatings are way, uh, made to hold or withstand those higher temperatures. So again, if you're looking for a glove that has cut resistance, but you're also working environments where you may have to pick up a casting or something that's hot, this glove could be one that could work for you. So if it interests you, just give us a holler.